Hi, this is Max from Recent Expert, and today I want to talk about rewire. Now, this is not yet another video on how to rewire to a master doll, but instead I want to show you a couple different approaches I've been working on when using rewire between Pro Tools and Recent. Now, I'm a Pro Tools guy and I work mostly in Pro Tools, so I'm not sure whether this is going to work in every other doll, but I hope this video still helps you. Okay, so. I have this session I started working on and I'd like to run down the different ways I used here to communicate Reason to Pro Tools. Alright, so first of all there's two traditional ways to go around this. One of them is this one, in which I created an instrument track and inserted Reason here and used it as a Pro Tools instrument, as this. Right? Uh, normal instrument, rewire. This is probably the way you use this. Then the other traditional way is to create an auxiliary track instead of an instrument uh, for triggering Rex loops in Dr. Octo Rex. So I've got this auxiliary track, I inserted Reason. And then in Reason, I created this Dr. Octo Rex and um, I just added a loop by copying it to the track. Now, I guess you could say these two ways are the traditional ways to use Rewire in Recent. But what I started doing lately is actually to create an auxiliary track in Pro Tools and sequence some instruments from the Recent sequencer instead of using Pro Tools. And the reason for that um, was mainly to experiment a little bit with the regroove mixer. Let me show you an example of this. So I created this uh, riff which is uh, being sent to Pro Tools via audio, but I wanted to sequence it, as I said, in recent to take advantage of the regroove mixer. And uh, so this is how it sounds without the regroove. Oop, I'm oh. sorry. All right. So this is how it sounds without the regroove. Right, and this is how it sounds with the regroove. It's really subtle, uh, but, I, but I like it and I decided to use it in this track. Now, one thing you may have missed in your rewire sessions is to be able to pass through the SSO mixer in Reason before entering Pro Tools. And the way you do that is to, instead of wiring the main instrument to the audio output in Reason, such as this way, oh, like this, the way to do it is, and the way I do it, is to wire it into the mix channel first and then take the direct out in the mix channel and wire it to the audio output in recent. Now if you've missed this step so far you've been losing out on like one third of recent's capabilities because the SSO mixer is really powerful and uh, this will also save you uh, some computer resource because the mixer is there and it's not being used and instead of you having to put an SSO plugin in your Pro Tools session or, or in whatever DAW you're using, you actually can use the Reason SSO and uh, make use of that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it has also opened some possibilities for you creatively and I'll see you next time. Again, this is Max from Recent Expert. Bye.